Wellness Wednesday is brought to you by Adventist Health. Welcome back to the kitchen. I'm joined this morning by Vanessa Gillarducci. She is a garden educator with Edible Schoolyard Kern County, which is a program of the Grimm Family Education Foundation. And we are making tacos today. So it's Wednesday, but we're still going to make some tacos. Yes, we are making some quinoa black bean tacos. Yum. And we have our pan all heated up. Awesome. We're going to start with, of course, some onions with a little olive oil. Let's throw in that olive oil. Perfect. So this is a plant-based taco recipe. Yes. I love. We're still getting a, a good dose of protein, though. We've got our quinoa and our black beans there. Yes. So these are really going to fill you up and be really good for you as well. That's right. And you just want to saute the onions for about five minutes, okay. roughly. And once that gets all cooked up and a little caramelized, you'll start to mm. see it clear up a little bit. Um, you're going to want to add some tomatoes. And tomatoes, of course, right now are just happening in the garden. Oh, I know. They're going crazy. Probably you have too many. If you like to garden, you probably have too many tomatoes. There's always a point in the summer, <laughs> yes. I feel like, if you grow tomatoes where there's just an abundance and you don't know what to do with them and you're giving them away to everybody you know. Right, right. So any recipe with tomatoes is good. Absolutely. Recipe. All right, so we're going to saute our chopped up tomatoes. Any tomatoes you have, like we were talking earlier, you can use your big tomatoes, you can use your cherry tomatoes. It doesn't really matter. Right. Okay. And then we're going to throw in some garlic. Oh. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab one of these. The best combo. Yes. Garlic and, and onions. Oh yeah, this has lots of garlic and it's so good. Great foundation. And you can use either smoked paprika or okay. paprika. I love smoked paprika mm -hmm. for tacos especially. Okay. And then a little chili powder. And we got some cumin. Always got to have some cumin. Yeah. Love it. Look at all those colors. Yeah, you're just going to want to cook that for a good five to ten minutes. Just okay. letting it soften and, right. and the flavors together. blend together. Because that is, all the flavors are going in right now. Okay, sounds good. So after those get all nice and cooked up, what are we going to do with the rest of our accoutrement over here? So we are then going to add some quinoa and black beans. Okay, so we've got pre-cooked quinoa. Yes. Okay. So we're going to throw some quinoa in. Right in our pan here. Yeah. Just a this, happy dose. Couple this is like outside. our meat. Quinoa okay. is like a, is a complete protein. So it is a oh, good plant-based option. We can add in some black beans as well. Give you a little more protein mm -hmm. to that. And fiber. Love that. So we're just going to mix it all together in the one pan. That's awesome. Yes. Throw in some vegetable stock. That's going to okay. get the salty, kind of savory flavor going on. Okay. But our quinoa is already cooked, right? And yes. It is okay. pre-cooked. Good eye. And our beans are as well, by the way. Yes, they are. Okay. Sounds good. So everything comes together in that one pan, which is fantastic because the fewer dishes, the better. Yeah. Okay. And do we have our tortillas? We do. Let me grab those. They might be right down there. Awesome. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a plate. So this is just our filling right here. That Once is our is filling. It, like, it's like together. everything in one. It's beautiful. But you can also add, we have over here a cilantro lime yogurt. Ooh. There's a little bit of cumin in there and we pre-made okay. that. So some lime juice and some cilantro, cilantro chopped some up yogurt. there. You can use a plant-based yogurt if you'd like. A not, um, just oh, okay. a plain one yeah. if you wanted to. And um, we have some cotija and beautiful. some pumpkin seeds as well to put okay. on top. So yeah, if you want to yeah. assemble that. Let's do this. All right, so I'm just going to put some of our already pre-cooked mix in here. And then we're just going to fancy it up, right? Yes. With a little bit of the cotija. Oh, so Yum. beautiful. And then pumpkin seeds, did you say? Yeah, you can sprinkle some on. OK. And then I probably should have put this down first, but it can go on top. Yeah, it can. Just dollop that on okay. top. Beautiful. Perfect. OK. Should I should I give this a shot here? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Let's Moment do it. Of truth here. <laughs> Mmm, so good. Yeah, I so love good. those flavors. So fresh. Yum. All right, we're going to share this recipe on our website, kget.com. Vanessa, thank you so much. We appreciate yeah, it. Always delicious. <laughs>